years of training followed by a year delay, Olympic athletes are finally competing in Tokyo. Plenty of events were underway today, including the first few swimming events. And New Center Maine's Sam Rogers joins us now with more on how one athlete is making her Olympic debut in the pool tomorrow morning. Hey, Sam. Hey, Hannah. Well, in about 12 hours, Bowdoin College junior Emily Grand uh, St. Pierre will step up to the blocks and swim in the women's 100 meter breaststroke qualifying heat one. Today, we were able to catch up with Grand Pierre ahead of her race, and we learned she's hoping to be a role model for future generations of swimmers in her home country. It all starts with a dream, and when you swim like Emily Grand Pierre, the Olympic dream seems possible from an early age. I didn't realize that like I was fast and that this could take me places until I was 12 years old when I won state championships in Georgia. The Atlanta native swimming up the East Coast to attend Bowdoin College. It was at Bowdoin when she got a phone call of a lifetime, her mom telling her she would likely represent Haiti in the Olympics. That was just a lot to drop on me in a span of 30 seconds. One month ago, it became official. Now Grand Pierre is in Tokyo, waiting patiently for her 100 meter breaststroke race on Sunday. I don't think it'll all like come crashing down until I'm behind the blocks about to race. So I'm excited for that moment. These Olympic moments will be remembered forever. And to hear like them say Haiti on the big speaker and to walk out, to see the bright lights and be like blinded for a second. It was just all so crazy. Like it blew my expectations out of the water. When she's in the water, Grand Pierre will be racing without fans in the stands, but her cell phone video captures how these Olympic athletes are doubling up as spectators. There was definitely a lot of cheering going on. Lots of fast swimming still happening without spectators. Fast swimming is a common trait in the Grand Pierre household. In 2016, Emily's older sister Naomi was the first Haitian to swim in the Olympics since 1996. She kind of paved the way for me and having her as a role model and an ally through this has been amazing. Now Emily hopes she can pave the way for future generations of Haitian swimmers. And to be an ambassador of that flag is just the greatest honor of my life. I couldn't ask for more. After watching her sister in Rio, watching other swimmers in Tokyo, it's time for Grand Pierre to take her mark. All that's left is to race and I'm really excited to do so. About the Grand Pierre sisters, Naomi and Emily are the first and second female swimmers to represent Haiti at the Olympics. Oh, by the way, their younger brother will join Emily at Bowdoin in the fall. So the Grand Pierres are really building up a dynasty for Haitian swimming, right, Anna? Is he swimming at Bowdoin too? He, he is, and I don't want to be the one to say it. A lot of pressure. Yeah, a lot of pressure. <laughs> absolutely. What a family. Thanks, Sam. And hey.